We are here in Kikuyu Hospital this afternoon, coming to visit with one of our own, uh, Madam Mwende, who in the last few days has ep epitomized what is referred to as the gender-based violence, a vice which is not only in contravention of the law and the constitution in this country, but also one of the worst forms of violation. As a ministry responsible for gender, we are here to encourage this young lady. We are here to also make a very strong pronouncement on the government position in terms of uh, the continued crimes against women, and in some cases even men, through gender-based violence. The family unit is under threat. Uh, in this country and I think that's something also that we need to start having a, a conversation in this country. Uh, the, the, the family is the, the smallest unit that really um, that, 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 that you know is a very important uh, that we should keep the family as strong as it should be but I think it's under threat uh, increasingly and I think um, all of us agree that um, a conversation need to be need to be started around that and we 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 increasingly engaging um, you know the the, the 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 mostly the the churches you know uh, on this matter but I think we need to bring it to to the national limelight and start uh, having an, a, a discussion on that the law is clear the constitution is clear there's no amount of provocation that should lead to one human being chopping off or physically harming another human being because there are mechanisms of settling differences, whether at the domestic level, whether in the workplace or in whatever sphere.